I feel bad for Douglas, guys. He's, sent, he's, he's being sent into the deep ends. Yeah, he's is this, being is sent to the shocks. Seven-year-old jungler. Seven? Se Seventeen-year-old jungler. <laughs> is Seven, he going to bro. save Vitality? I mean, he's also last place in LFL as we're speaking. Yeah. I mean, they couldn't get a better jungler than him. Uh, they could. I, I heard there were talks of someone being ready to go, and then he was told, never mind. Yeah, I was also, I also heard that. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, the same bird is whispering in everyone's ear, by the way. <laughs> yeah, there's some birds, I think, flying around the last days. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what, what to think of Bo, man, what's going to happen with his, um, his, his career now. I feel bad for it because he's, I think he's genuinely really fucking talented, but he hasn't shown it in a long time. Nah, he, he just, he just ruined his whole career with that last game. Like, that was not acceptable. But the thing is, that last game, right, the Maokai play at River, I get why he went. Yeah, but Upset didn't want to fight. Did you guys see, like, Upset just decided to not hit anyone. Like, they could have actually won that if the Rakan yeah, yeah, yeah. went in. And uh, Upset decided to hit, but yeah, they just didn't want to. It's it's like, if, if, if Upset is thinking, they have two TPs, I don't want to fucking fight, like, what are we doing? Then it's like, yeah. okay. But, because like, this situation where Bo flashes over, like, full sum everybody, it, it looks, without thinking about TPs, it looks so fucking winning. Because Varus is coming first too. I get yeah. why, why Bo would want to do this. Uh, I mean, I, what I also... I, d I don't know any inside information on this. This is just my own guess. Looking at how they draft for Bo, like it seems like he's also changing his mind on a daily basis about his champion pool. Like one day he's locking in carries, one day he's locking mm -hmm. in Sejuani Maokai. So he had like an identity crisis, I think, in the middle of the split. Oh yeah, like, I mean the coaching on this team is clearly like fucked up. Like they, I, I don't understand how you could extract this little value out of these players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, just going from day one to day two to day three, just look at the three drafts that Gillies is talking about. Day one, okay, we open blind B1 Poppy. It's like not a flex or anything. It's just B1 Poppy. They don't have any dashes. It's not a fucking, there's no reason for it. Just B1 Poppy. Day number two, R5 Nocturne. Fuck it. We're saving our, our pick for, for R5 for jungle. Day number three, R1, R2 Maokai. It's like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, it's just getting doesn't fucking make any whiplash sense. looking at these drafts. It's like, so what is your identity, bro? How do you play these games? So, so also something. Do you guys remember I their guess... opening game as well? Their opening game, they came with Bravado. They played Kindred, Milio, Lucian. They Gwen, full like carry comp. Yeah, that made no sense. Someone had to be the fucking tank there, like. And then it's like, Gwen dies level three. Bot lane dies level three with Dirk advantage. It's just. And with that, their confidence also died. But there were some games that were definitely not his fault, though. Like, the fucking one where Photon threw. Game one, where, like, everyone dies because Photon just wants to go for, like, some all-in when they have Baron. Yeah, like, yeah. That game, he should, they should never lose. There's, like, the, the game where Perks just didn't split mid, and Kaiser just walked up and hooked, and they instantly lost the game. Yeah, yeah. No, that Kaiser moment, too. Like, Photon walked up to the turret and melee it and it went down to one HP <laughs> before Kaiser hooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do as yep. That's weird.